Well, of course, there's a suspension coming, but I don't think Filter cares. Why would he care? I mean, Milestone is around the corner. What, 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 was he, what is your thought process behind that? Wait, wait a minute. Bentley Powell has a microphone. He's a new look. Let's see what she has to say. Bentley Powell now. Well, thrown off here by the capacity crowd here at the Corey in Golden, Colorado. I'm so damn good that I don't even need EOE to come out here with me tonight because I know that I'm going to beat that weird living dead girl, Abaddon, whatever she calls herself. I'm going to kick her right in her face and take my spot at Milestone fighting for that title that should be around my waist. Speaking of death wishes. Oh, baby. All right, I'm leaving. Right here beside me, I'm telling you. Oh, boy. Now this, this is how you make an entrance oh, to And her opponent, the living dead girl, Keep Avaldon! Uh, I'm sitting on my left, Titus. You gotta get away from me here. You wish. As Avaldon. Rolling her way into the ring. The unstoppable monster here at Rocky Mountain Pro. She has been nothing short of absolutely spectacular since making her arrival here at Rocky Mountain Pro. And Titus is Bentley Powell the one to stop her. Wow. Earlier tonight, she continued these games that she plays. She has got. She's great at mind games. She's playing with Semi. She's really, she's setting herself up to really have a, uh, an impressive uh, debut at Milestone. I gotta tell you, I've, I've, I'm not one to question triumphant, but boy, oh boy, this woman is something else, isn't she? And the bell rings and we're off. And ladies and gentlemen, as you see there, Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy, www.mercuryprowrestling.academy. Go ahead and give us a call or come visit us here if you have any interest in being a professional wrestler, a referee, or heck, a commentator just like us. Please. Feel free to give us a visit. We come need visit. new commentators because I can't carry the show every week myself. Uh, I was more focusing on the color side, but we'll continue on with the match. I'm, as Abaddon circling lost. around. Bentley Powell and a lock up. We're off. Well, Bentley Powell brings something to this matchup that Abaddon doesn't, and that is a great ground game, a wrestling game. That's what brings Bentley Powell to this, is her ability in that squared circle. Oh, Bentley hey, Powell shoves Very shoves her smart. Off. Very smart. What's so smart about that? She's ducking out of the action. Oh, ducking out. She's resetting. She's taking control of the matchup. She's not letting Abaddon dictate the pace. And you got to imagine, oh, oh. Under a hard clothesline there. You gotta imagine the Duchess from Down Under is watching this closely. And I gotta, 
I gotta tell you, I think that uh, she's she's really, really afraid right now of having to face Abaddon at Milestone. And ladies and gentlemen, that match is gonna be happening Sunday, June 30th. You wanna get your tickets right now because I promise you, they are selling very, very quickly. It's gonna be at the Summit in downtown Denver, Colorado. One of the biggest events ever held in Denver, Colorado in professional wrestling. And now. There's just something special about Milestone. That's it's that time of year, you can feel it, you can smell it, you can taste it. It is the biggest time of the year for us. Oh, my goodness. Here comes Bentley Powell, and it'll be a huge win here for her, and I have not seen Abaddon be defeated here yet at Rocky Mountain Pro, and Bentley Powell would have a huge notch on her belt if she was able to do so. Well, Bentley Powell, if she's able to beat Abaddon, at this point, before Milestone, she would definitely have a stake to claim at that Lockheads Championship match, the biggest show of the year. And this crowd going absolutely crazy here for Abaddon. They absolutely love this monster who's now starting to fight back. Oh my goodness, this is so unorthodox. Scary stuff here from Abaddon. Well, she's definitely unorthodox. You don't. Wait a minute, goes to the cover. Could have. Oh! She's not your conventional professional wrestler. You don't normally, you know, prepare yourself for her like you would somebody else. And now, Abaddon continuing to pour it on here at Bentley Powell, who's now starting to fight back, wants to break up that momentum. I mean, Titus, I gotta ask you, have you ever seen anybody so far take the fight to Abaddon like Bentley Powell's doing right now? You know, I'm gonna say I have not. I mean, that's the thing about Bentley Powell. She is somewhat overlooked in this Lockettes division. She is accomplished, she is talented, and she's showing that, you know, she has a spot, a, a, a stake to claim in this matchup. She wants to win if she stays focused, which has been her one, one weakness is being focused in on victory. I think tonight she's gonna show She's focused. And again, we, we mentioned this a little bit with C.J. Pricefield as now she drapes the throat across the second rope here. But we talked about this a little bit with C.J. Pricefield. I bet Lee Powell got on the same boat. Always feels like the bridesmaid, getting very close to that championship, but not able to win those big matchups. And this, and this. Well, that tells you what you know, because she was co-champion at one point, if you recall, but you don't remember those things. A very, very short-lived co-champion. She, she had the title around her waist. She knows what it feels like to put that title around her waist, and you know that she wants it longer. And Bentley Powell with a very unorthodox suplex, but she's continuing to stay focused here, and you gotta give her credit. She's doing very well. Oh, Abaddon stops. Bentley Powell, a little confused there. The mind games are setting in again, Titus. Oh, the tilt the whirl. Head scissors takedown there by Abaddon. Oh, and a hard clothesline. You can really feel that momentum shifting, Titus. Big. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my Lord. She's going to just broke her neck. Bentley Powell is out. That's all day. Second. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Bentley Powell getting the left shoulder up. Told you she was overlooked in this division. So it'll take a little bit more than that to beat Bentley Powell tonight. Boy, Bentley Powell, you got to hand it to her, is fighting with everything she has right now. I was wondering how much of that was instinct, because when she came up from that uh, DDT, she looked, and still does, look Don't turn around. Oh. Nice agility there by Bentley Powell to duck out of the way. Uh-oh, watch out, setting up for that super kick. Oh, and she lands it. This could be it, Titus. She's able to capitalize and... Go for the cover. Come on, Bentley, cover. Go for the cover. Not a smart move, John. out the crowd has been jawing back at her the entire time. Look at this cover. Oh, my goodness. How close. Not going to milestone nine with a cover like that. Yeah, I mean, we got to agree there, Titus. You have really got to be on your A game and be focused. If you're gonna take out Abaddon and got a little, little cocky, a little lazy there. Now she's yelling at the referee. She thought it was over. Oh my gosh, oh. she's up. Rose from the dead. Listen to this crowd. Look at the face on Bentley Powell. 
Looks like she's seen a monster. Oh, my goodness, and she did. She's put everybody away with that. And the Soul Reaver puts away Bentley Powell. Your winner, Abaddon! Well, Abaddon is definitely moving towards Milestone 9. But I'm going to tell you, there are weaknesses in her game. She showed weaknesses tonight. Can Simi and the Triumphant exploit those on June 30th at Milestone 9? That's the question. And that, and, and, yeah, and what's, what's, it's, at the Triumphant, it's going to be banned from ringside during that match. It is going to be a dog collar match. I mean, there are so many different factors that lean in Abaddon's favor. I mean, I, I got to imagine it's finally going to be Abaddon's time. Well, look, a dog collar match is nothing unlike anything else. Yeah, you're right. Simi Lockhart cannot run away anywhere, but neither can Abaddon. We have not seen Simi with her back against the wall. She is a dangerous woman. That's going to be quite possibly the match to watch. See what I saw. Abaddon the monster. That's a rock. Simone Lockhart taking a fence to this band. title defense against Ellie Gato has held on and nobody 
Well, I'm telling you what, I felt intimidated with Abaddon's entrance. But the Bill Lockhart doesn't look intimidated, Colin. He looks confident. Not at all, Titus. And there's Abaddon. She's still wearing the dog collar that was put on her neck just days ago at Super uh, excuse me, Supercharge. She's still wearing it. What does that say to you? She is one deranged individual. Bowen match for the Lock Gets Championship. This is a dog collar match. First, the challenger. The monster, the living dead girl. You hear the crowd yelling, eat her soul. This goes all the way back to Supercharge 3. Simone has done everything she can to sneak away and escape the clutches of the monster. But tonight, there is no escape for the champion. It's time to face your fears, Duchess. Listen to this crowd. And again, Conspicuous by their absence here is the Triumph, and they have been banned by ringside by general manager Austin Reddick. Well, I, is Austin Reddick even in the building anymore after the beating he took by Big Filth Dog? And now, like a dog. This match will be determined by pitfall or submission inside the ring. There you hear the, there are the rules. Pinfall, submission inside the ring while wearing a dog collar. That chain is legal. You can use it as a weapon. You can choke out your opponent. You can hit him with it. You can slap him with it. You can use it as a whip. It's a weapon that you can use. And now, the Duchess, refusing to have this put on her, she will be disqualified if she does not put this around her neck. And the bell rings here. And she has no other choice. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, being treated like a dog here in the center of the ring. And now, look at this. Abaddon has just been waiting. And now she's got her locked in. Look how much she's trying to prevent it from happening. Simone having to face her fears directly in the eye. She what, is slowly pointing her towards her. What she a, is savoring this moment. Look at the face of Simone What Lockhart. a difference between the two. You've got a classic professional wrestler in Simone Lockhart, and you've got a monster brute in Abaddon. Such a difference in style. Yeah, you're very right on that. What is such her, a difference in style. Her mouth is green. Her teeth are green. What was that that came out of her mouth? Oh, on, off the top rope, she bounces. The Duchess. Able to get a rebound. She is not. Ah. Oh my goodness, she stands straight up. And there goes the Duchess to the outside, but she can only go so far with that dog collar wrapped around her neck. 15 foot dog collar, I believe is what they said it was. And now she's dragging her back into the ring here. He's gonna give Abaddon this. This the, is the stuff of nightmares, Titus. I'm not sleeping tonight, that is for sure. Goosebumps She's here. She's pulling her in by her neck. We got a few kids in the crowd here that have ducked for cover. Might be sleeping under their beds tonight. I'm gonna sleep with the light on. That's it. We already know you have a night light. And a teddy bear. Hey, you leave, you leave Rex been out of this. And now, Duchess able to trip the legs there. And now, trying to be savvy with that dog collar. That's right, there you go. You know that she has a plan. She always does, Titus. She's been, she's been working with Severino Corrente 
planning this, strategizing. I have not been able to enter their locker room. They've locked them off. Even I can't get in there planning for both of their matches tonight. Whipping him with that steel chain, that dog collar is as legal as a headlock. Oh my God. Yeah, now, Simone Lockhart. Oh my God. You called it fear. I called it baiting her opponent. Look at her. She's confident. She's ready. She's not afraid of Abaddon. You must have missed the same look that we saw earlier on. She looked terrified. Simone uh -oh. Lockhart is. She better pay attention. Uh oh, look at that look on her face. Look at the look. And now. So oh! God. And now, draped over around the ring post. Dog collar still intact. And now look what at is she's she doing? tying up the wrist of the she's Duchess. It's a hog tying her. You're absolutely right. We're getting a lot shorter of a leash here. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God, look at this. Is she gonna tap out? Titus, this is inside the ring. Is she gonna tap? Oh, her hands are locked up. She can't tap out. Referee Joel Gesser asking if she's gonna tap here. And let's go. And you gotta hand it to the Duchess from down under. That is pure, pure toughness not to give up there. I've never seen the body bend in that kind of manner. Oh my goodness, that was just terrible. Now going for the cover here. See if she's able to capitalize and only a one count. And now Abaddon is now up. And she's got Simone Lockhart by the hair and Simone battling back. Oh Big my right God. hand by the champion. And she really just walloped. And now putting the chain around her fist there. And Abaddon, oh my Ooh. God, dead center of the ring. That's not good. That's not good at all. That has got to be shredding the skin. And oh, the stomach. I mean, just it's a, imagine getting hit with a pair of brass knuckles over and over and over time. Yeah, I've hit people with brass knuckles before. It doesn't feel good in my hand. Oh my God. Oh, okay, yeah, already. That's going to be over here. Revert. Ooh. And now, Simone Lockhart, looks like that dog collar's getting caught up there. Alicia's becoming just a little bit shorter. And now, Abaddon's starting to fight back a little bit here. And now, hits the reset button for a second. And oh, here we go. The Dutch is starting to battle back a bit. That dog collar limits you down so much. Abaddon was trying to crawl to the top rope, forgetting that the dog collar is around her neck. She wouldn't have got off to the top rope. And now reaches Ooh. to the outside. And look at that, oh, that steel just grinding across the forehead of Abaddon. I had the opportunity before the show today to look at that chain. That is not a polished chain. That's rough. There's edges. It's sharp. And now the Duchess on the outside. Oh my goodness. The rear view right in the back of the head of Abaddon. I'd sign up for that. You would. And now the Duchess, your Lockettes champion in the ring right now with all the momentum in her favor. Abaddon's not moving. Very impressive. I think, so, I think someone's got her beat. She's not moving. She's laying there. The chance rolling in now. And, and Titus, I'm surprised he's not taking advantage of all this time here. Letting Abaddon maybe catch her breath a little bit. She's a, a little cocky, a little overconfident in my mind. Referee Joel Gessner checking on her. She's, she's not moving. No, he's saying she's up. And now, Simone Lockhart. And now Abaddon finally She's making, finally her, making her way up. Feet. She's made her way into the ring. And she, now, looks, she looks beaten. Yeah, she does. Oh, wait, is that? And now, oh Look. my goodness. She's bleeding. Yeah, she's cut across the floor. She's busted off the guys. Oh, now look at the sadisticness of 
the Duchess uh, toying with her after busting her open with that steel chain. See, now you guys are worrying about someone's health and their safety. You know, you have another chance at a championship match down the line, Abaddon. She's, look at her, she's, she's beaten. And now the Eater Soul chant starting to rain down. It's been, a, it's been a mismatch, don't you think? So far, I gotta hand it to you, Titus. It has been unlike what I thought it would happen here. Uh-oh, wait a minute, here comes a spear! Huge, that was big time here. Title on the line, oh, wait a minute, is she gonna go for the cover? No, she's gonna go ahead and pound away a little bit more here. Simone trying to block those punches. Put his hands up. With that blood spewing from the forehead here of Abaddon. And now, going from behind here. Well, I cannot believe Abaddon is actually standing, blood flowing down her face. She was out of it, I think, for a good 60 or 70 seconds on the side. Oh! Whipping her with that chain, all is love and fair, all is fair and love and war. It's all it's legal. Right. Look at that gash on the head of Abaddon. Oh. I can't feel good, Titus. There's blood coming out of her. Oh. She's loving this. Look at this woman. This is sadistic. And now she sees the blood spewed across the forehead, busted open by the Duchess. Abaddon brings her up now. And now, nice reversal there. Here we go. A little momentum starting to come back here is the Duchess, who was in control of the early part of the matchup. Oh my God, right across the throat. And now brings her down with the chain. Looks like uh, Simone's gonna return the favor. Oh my God. Simone Lockhart is now gonna bring the chain up one more time if the damage hadn't already been done enough. Mm. My God. Look at the champion, confident, center of the ring, the challenger sitting, laying in the pool of her own blood. Not a good way here for Abaddon at this point. She is really hurting, and now the chain caught up, but not enough. It might be only elementary at this point now, Titus. This has been a long, long time coming between these two. You've and talked about her being afraid, Simone Lockhart. Come on, you gotta be honest here. She's not showing any fear right now. She's dominating. On the ropes here. And, I mean, just a brutal, brutal display here on Abaddon. She I gotta be honest, Simone Lockhart is a technical wrestler. I really didn't know how she would be able to adapt to this style. She's done very, very well. Severina Quintes really, uh -oh, uh -oh, wait a minute. Got the leg caught there. And now, Abaddon gonna bring her on back into the ring here. She's got the DDT set up. Oh my God, right under the dog collar, head first. A pile of chain just got a DDT on it. Simone Lockhart, her title is in jeopardy if Abaddon could get the hand across. Long time to get over that cover. And now Abaddon, he's got more work to do here. And now, drops oh. it with a DDT, swinging that left leg out, and Simone Lockhart now in a bad way. A little bit of momentum here from the monster Abaddon. Both ladies crawling to their feet, the Lockhats division. The head honcho will be crowned here. Simone Lockhart looks like she's trying to catch her breath. Two serious DDPs. Simone Lockhart, look at the look on her face. She looks terrified. And Abaddon. I agree, right. for the first time, she really does look afraid. Has her right where they were, both ladies tugging at that chain. Here they go, double, double clothesline. Oh my God, unbelievable. And now, the referee watches as both ladies lay stagnant on the mat. This is for the Lockettes Championship. The only, you know, women's division in any promotion in the country, it just, I mean, just, 
I'm stunned. I'm, I'm, I'm literally stunned right now what these two women have done to each other for this match, for this championship. Wait a minute. Look who just sat up. Simone Lockhart at your worst nightmare. Oh my God. Fight or flight time for Simone. See you next Tuesday. Get ready, set up. She got it. She got it. That's going to do it here for the Lockhart division here. Simone Lockhart to retain the title. She doesn't get it. I can't believe it. I can't believe she kicked out of that. She's beaten everybody. Beaten everybody with that move. Going for CNX Tuesday one more time. Nobody has ever kicked out of this. I know. I know. Abaddon swings it back over right onto the chain. And now sits up like the monster she is. And now they eat her soul chance rain down. The clock is ticking on the Duchess. The monster stands up behind, whips her off the ropes, picks her up, set the power bomb. That's gonna do it. Good night, so oh. She kicked out. No one kicked out. And now the frustration starting to set in with a primal scream of Abaddon. And now. She is looking for any, any sort of opening to be able to capture that precious Lockheads title that she so, so has been looking for ever since stepping foot at Rocky Mountain Pro. Now has her up. The Duchess is out of her. And she's going to take that dog chain. And she's going to wrap it around the wrist. Simone Lockhart's got nowhere to go here, Titus. She's tied up. And you know exactly what's going on here. What is she doing? She's set up for see you next Tuesday. Oh, no, a taste of her own medicine. And Simone Lockhart is completely knocked out. With her own Abaddon move. goes for the cover. The count. She got it. Wow. going to give Simone Lockhart credit. She stood in the ring with her. You keep talking about her being afraid. Oh my god, and now she's fighting her. She is fighting the Duchess. They're licking her. I don't know what she's doing there, Titus. I think she was licking her. Oh, here she comes. Weighs. 
per, per unit. Whatever she wants. Oh, And this is my first real look at Holodead. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. I have had my run-ins with her at Respect Women's Wrestling, our sister promotion. An absolutely frightening sight to see up close. You can't even imagine how frightening this woman is to be a oh gosh, Steve. She's, she's coming over here. I got I got I'm get, walking away. I'm this woman knows school. my face and I don't like it one little bit. I don't like I don't like being that close to Holiday. No, thankfully she didn't, I don't think she saw me. I did the T-Rex the strategy. Stand still, she can't see you. Try to work. Oh, that's fair. No T-Rex. Have you ever seen T-Rex? By the way, work against Holiday, so I'm okay. <laughs> that it did. She didn't look over here, thank God. This, ladies and gentlemen, like we said, the first ever one-on-one -on -one meeting Ugh. between Holiday and Abaddon. Not only that, but the first ever casket match in either women's careers. So I'm gonna risk myself sounding cliche here, but this is a match made in hell right here. Absolutely. Look wow. at this though. Normally most competitors seem to be absolutely mesmerized by Abaddon's presence and taken a bit of back. However, Holodead, not one of those people. No, but Abaddon not one to back down either. Here we go. There we are underway. Joe Gessner, very excited to see this one start. I think he's more excited to see it end. Yeah. Oh, look very, at this going oh, face to face. Oh, oh, oh. My very first casket match. Well, you and me are both here for the first time calling a casket match for either of us. This is going to be interesting, oh, ladies wow. and gentlemen. And again, cliche alert, but big fight feel here at the side. Oh, okay, this just, who's gonna wow. be the uh, the owner of this ring? Ooh, look at that, a hard shot by Abaddon. Not afraid yeah. of Holodead at all. I am. Oh. <laughs> well, you hear the hush in this arena. I think yeah. most people are absolutely just flabbergasted at the sight of these yeah. two women here in this ring. It's like me looking at that casket, just don't know what to say. Oh. Look at this, we this is Abaddon now with a headlock. But Holodead now shoots her off into the ropes. Oh, shoulder tackle, but neither women gonna get advantage here. There's competition, there's battles. Oh, there we go, Abaddon goes over, ducks the clothesline thrown by Holodead, here we go. Oh, we've seen this before, head scissors. Oh, but Holodead stops and drops her down. Sidewalk slam. I don't think Abaddon's used to getting overpowered like that. Oh, uh, we hear Holodead saying, it's time to wake the dead. Oh. <laughs> Following her in with those knees, that is brutal. Holodead seen all over the world right now. I don't know if I want to say we're lucky to have her here in Rocky Mountain Pro. Yeah, I don't cursed. feel lucky right now. <laughs> Not sure I'm if we're glad lucky. she's here, but I don't feel very Not sure lucky. Not sure if we're lucky or close. cursed with this. As long as they stay away from me, I'm fine. <laughs> Uh, a little that. close for comfort here, for, for my taste. They are about seven feet from us, and I get a little uneasy every time. Oh, nothing good can come from this. Oh, here comes Holiday! Big leg drop on the apron! And look at the face of Holiday. She loves inflicting this kind of pain and torture. She's all about the mind games, but after that, you deal with a very vicious competitor. But look at that, goes for that big running boot, and Abaddon, oh, slides under. Underneath, that was. Ducks the clothesline again, yanks that hair, pulls Holodead down to the mat. Very intelligent, veteran-like offense there by Abaddon, just being in the right place at the right time. Absolutely, Abaddon, like we said, that new makeup reminiscent of Jigsaw, looking to play a not-so-nice game with Holodead. Big clothesline. And this crowd doesn't know what to think of this. I don't think this. they know what to think about this. I, I don't know what to think about this. This is absolutely terrifying, ladies and gentlemen, just to be at several feet from either of these two women only because you don't know what either of the two are gonna do at any given second. There we go, Abaddon sending Holiday back into the turnbuckle. Follows in, big hard clothesline. It's very unpredictable. Oh, here we go, we've seen it before, the Bulldog. 
drives Holly face first right into the canvas. And this could be Abaddon's chance, but you got to roll her up that ramp into that casket. Pinfalls and submissions aren't going to matter in this match. you got to roll them up. I don't think Abaddon, yeah, not going oh, for the cover. Just, just going to choke the life out of Holiday. Perfectly legal in this type of match. And Holiday throwing a vicious right hand from underneath. We saw referee Joe Gessner not doing anything, really has no power to do anything at all. I do not envy referee Joe Gessner's position in this matchup at not all. Not one little bit. Oh, look at this. Here we go, bloodline. Wow. That bloodline DDT, we've seen her walk away with several victories. Oh, look at that. And again, if this were a normal match, she would go for a pin there, but that's not gonna do any good here. Not at all. She has to drag her up to the casket, throw her in, and close the lid. Look at this, going for another bloodline, look like. Locked it. Oh, went for the twist of hate. Oh, but look at this, Holiday, fix the moment drop. What power by Holiday. And now she's up. Is she thinking? Uh, Drag her to that casket. She's going to take her up do. to the top. Looking to end this right now. About halfway up there now. It looks like Holiday's got this under control. Absolutely. Going to drag her to Here the casket. Comes. Here comes that lid. Wait, oh! what the hell was that? What was that? Wait a minute. Tree, it's the Galactic Goddess. Was that glitter? Just threw glitter right in the face of Holiday. And now this has become a two-on-one situation. Well, we said we didn't know where in the world the Galactic Goddess was. I guess we got our answer. Oh, there look at this. Is, and they're just Swinging stalking. blindly. Oh, look at that. Holiday a double clothesline takes her. Both women take down Holiday. We said we hadn't seen the Galactic Goddess. Was she in that casket all night? The whole time. She's been in that thing all night. And now she's there in the middle of the look, ring. Now, now Galactic Goddess wants a piece, choking the life out of Holiday. And this was what I was afraid of. Cold to cold, using those numbers. And using the fact that this is a casket match and there are no disqualifications. No rules at all. There goes Galactic Goddess gets sent in and followed by Abaddon with a splash of her own. Referee's powerless Look at this. this. And Look at this interesting maneuver. Oh, oh, oh it. she just oh. squashed the goddess. Well, look at this. Oh, the yeah, try it again. Oh. Oh. Just use the goddess as a battering ram. Uh, an assisted drop kick. Just picked up the goddess and used her frame. Oh, look, look at this. Turnbuckle. Now the goddess going up to the middle rope. What is she looking for here? Oh, oh Holly caught her. And she just oh. uses her to knock down Abaddon. <laughs> oh, goddess galactic now. goddess. She's become a weapon. You poor thing. Look at this. Oh, oh there it was, a code breaker. Look at that, a code breaker by the Galactic Goddess. And this is a complete two on one assault. This isn't even a match anymore. The Colt of Cold will stoop to any level they can to accomplish their goal. Well, they are looking for a clean sweep here tonight as this five on five, and now she's this? got more glitter. Oh, Can I mention how much I hate glitter? We're not gonna get that out of ah! there. Oh. Holiday ducked out of the way and got it right in the face. Yeah, I have it in a bad way here. Oh no. We've seen this before, oh, double boy. underhook. Oh! Right face first. And Holly's having no part of it now. Long way from that casket though. And here she goes. She's going to pick her up and carry her. Fireman's carry there all the way up to. There we lid see open. the casket. And Abaddon's in. Abaddon's she in. The lid, it's Wait a minute. Close. What's Holiday? Oh, uh, she's going back mistake. for the goddess. This is a mistake right here. <laughs> look at Holiday the look on her win. face. She had the win, KD. Well, I she think Abaddon's it. out cold. She's gonna throw the goddess in. Goddess She's gonna in. make it a two for one special. Good and night, this one's Cult over. of Cold. And your winner, Holy oh. Joe Gessner.
Just go. Drive, just get out. Yeah, get the go. hell out of Dodge, let's Joel. Go. And now she's locking it. She is locking the door. <laughs> the Cult of Cold. They're 0 for 2, 1 right now. Uh, uh, I think she's going to take a little nap. It's tired. It's a hot match. Holly looks uh, right at home, sleeping on top of a casket. Look at that shot. Your winner, Holiday. Here tonight, that means her induction will hold both championships. That's a dangerous situation because that means they'll hold a lot of sway around here. Absolutely, would make Abaddon a multiple time Rockets champion. But first, she has to go through the one woman wrecking crew, the Broad Warrior, and the master of the big kicky boot. The true Rocket champion, Heidi Howitzer. And boy, do these fans absolutely love them some Heidi. And these two have been going back and forth for a long time. Shriek echoing through the halls. Well, you were going to say, Stevie, these two have been going back and forth for months. That's right, certainly no love lost here. As it was actually Abaddon that Heidi Howitzer won the title from several months ago. Oh, would not want to be Heidi Howitzer right now. She just seems to decay more and more every time we see her. Now you would think most people Men, women, and children would all be worried about the facade of Abaddon just looking across the ring from her. But it looks like Heidi Howitzer, no fear in those eyes. She looks like she's ready to take this fight straight to the monster. And mind games from Abaddon. Right. Oh, look at that, though. Here's what I was going to say to you with this was... We've seen Abaddon before just charge head first into her opponents, not caring about what happens to her body, but we saw there she ducked twice. An attempt by Heidi Howitzer. What worries me, Stevie, is that she's learning. Now we see Dustin Urich getting in the face of Heidi Howitzer, and there Abaddon's gonna take advantage. Like I said, it seems like she's learning. Oh, what a close line. Absolutely. Now Heidi Howitzer, instead of going for a cover, is going to deliver some forearms right to the side of the head. But Abaddon, again, smartly covering up. That's not something we would have seen from Abaddon several months ago. Nice hard kick by Heidi Howitzer. Oh, but Abaddon oh. just sits right back up. Oh, but Heidi's going to give her some of the wet willy. Wet willy. Yeah, she's, oh. She may have gotten a little bit of brain juice on those fingers. That's disturbing. You don't know where those ears have been. Oh, oh look at that, though. The Reaper's trident. That big spear that has taken out competitors before. But Abaddon not going to capitalize on that yet. Hits the ropes. Basement drop kick to the chest of Heidi Howitzer. And Abaddon in control here. Oh, and there's Abaddon with a good shin lock there on Heidi Howitzer. Here are these fans getting behind the Lockettes champion. And Heidi Howitzer 
Trying to roll over, get some leverage, get back to that vertical base, create some separation here. Well, you got to think Heidi's a bit of, at a bit of a disadvantage right now. Does have Dustin Yurick to contend with on the outside. We've seen Heidi in the last several months. She's aligned herself with some heavy hitters here in Rocky Mount Pro. We've seen her aligned with Austin Reddick, Chongo Bronson, Bruce Wayans. But none of those three are out there at ringside for Heidi here tonight. She's going at it alone. There we see a big slam. We know what's coming up next. Oh, miss it. This is that leg drop right on the tailbone. And you got to think Heidi might have been had a bit more used to have somebody there at the corner for her. And here comes Abaddon. Just going to throw Heidi's head right into the mat. She hit her head hard there. She may be out. Abaddon should think about going for a cover here. Heidi now crawling to those ropes, using the assistance to pull herself back up. And here's Abaddon. Hard clothesline in the corner. Here she comes for a second. Another basement drop kick, this time in the corner by the monster. Could be looking at a new Lockett champion here. Now goes for the cover. It is. One, two, no. But Heidi kicks out. And look at this, Abaddon now applying a lot more wrestling technique than we're used to seeing. Holding her over, now going for that cross face. She's got it in deep. Now we for Heidi to go. Absolutely, pulling on that neck. All the pain right in the neck and that upper back of Heidi Howitzer. Taking away the legs, taking away the power game of the champ. And there you see Dustin Yurick. He's not out there for just looks, you know that. Absolutely, he'll take advantage any way he can. Oh, but look at this, Heidi rolls up, one, two. Good reversal there by Heidi, great ring awareness. Hard shot by Abaddon. Keeping Heidi grounded, that's what you gotta do with this powerhouse. Right back to that cross face. Smart this time, dead center of the ring. Heidi's got about 10 feet on either side to hit those ropes. We could be looking at a new Lockheed's champion. Getting all that pressure on the neck and the back of Heidi Howitzer. Is the champ gonna tap? She could be thinking of it right here. Immense no pain no. right on that neck. But right now, Heidi not allowing it to take her out of this contest, not allowing to lose that championship. These fans behind Heidi, here we go, rolls her up again. One, two. I think Dewey Larson was slightly out of position. She may have walked away with the title there. Nevertheless, that's two count, and oh, what a kick. And Abaddon has been in control for quite some time. We could be looking at our new champion right here. That double leg drop right to the midsection of Heidi Howitzer. Now back to that chin lock. Putting a lot of pressure on the neck of Heidi Howitzer here, trying to wear her opponent down. The smart strategy, Heidi Howitzer is stronger, has reach on her, and this is the way that you do it. Just wear her down, keep her grounded, take away that strength advantage. Yeah, but she's let the Broad Warrior get back to her feet. Probably not the best idea. She's had, and there it was, the big kicky boot. Heidi seems to be getting her wits about her. Ducks the clothesline from Abaddon, who trips. Ducks another one by Heidi. Here comes Heidi. Big German suplex. What a match. Both oh. women back and forth. They both want to be champion. And we know what she's going for here. It's that wham, bam, thank you, slam. But Abaddon reverses, spins her around. We've seen it before, bloodline. That bloodline DDT has left Abaddon with many victories here in Rocky Mount Pro. New champ. And it's going to win her the Lockett's title. 
and Abaddon becomes a two-time Rocky Mountain Pro Rocket Champion. Well, there we see it. This dangerous duo of Dustin Yurick and Abaddon now hold the Rocky Mountain Pro Rockets and the Rocky Mountain Pro Championship. This is going to be a duo that is going to be very hard to contend with in the coming weeks and months here on Charge. Through to the area, <laughs> I, there, are, there are towns in Massachusetts I can name that have produced a similar effect, but I gotta say one thing Dustin Yurick certainly is, is motivated. He's got, that, he's got that belt around his waist, and I don't think he has any intention of letting that thing go for a Absolutely while. Absolutely not. Over 10 years of experience, Dustin Urick finally feels like he's actually being used the way he should be, getting the opportunities he feels he should have. Oh, uh, no, but I'm just licking. Oh. Just licking the hand. Do. Boo. Boo. I mean, if it was anybody else, I'd say there are worse ways to spend a Friday night in Denver, but hey, this is <laughs> Abaddon we're talking about. Oh, look at that, Heidi with the wet willy. Fearless, fearless. Uh oh, what the, what uh -oh. in the what, what's sweet, this? merciful. Oh, oh, nice fire wow. takeover by Abaddon. Oh no, she's learning. Oh God. The dead can speak and the dead can wrestle. Oh, but there we see a nice shoulder tackle there by Heidi Howitzer, taking down the monster. It's gonna pick her up, gonna spin her around. Oh wow. That's at least eight to 10 rotations. Oh, and just drops Abaddon down. Quickly goes for the cover. One, two. But the demon kicks out again. There's so, oh, there it is. There's so many cool things about Heidi Howard that remind me of the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. Absolutely. She's like an odd mix of Mark Henry and the Road Warriors and, I don't know, your worst nightmare. And Cindy Lauper. There you go. Oh, but here we go, the dragon ducks a clothesline by Dustin Urick. And there we see those hard shots, the hard punches, the chest, the chops by Atiba. It's gonna send Dustin Urick into the ropes. Dustin Urick reverses, Atiba goes in, comes back. Oh, but look at this, goes behind Dustin Urick, smart maneuver. Oh, he's going for a German suplex, but Dustin Urick using that wide base. I'm not sure you want to match power with Dustin Urick, especially if you've got that martial arts background like Atiba. Oh, there it is. Woo! Using those knife edge chops and those pound strikes, he's using the bone ridge in his hand, he's using the bones in his arm, he's bringing his whole body weight to bear on every strike. Oh, there we go, a little back and forth, a little tennis here. Oh, but Dustin Urich is gonna roll out of the floor, it's a smart maneuver there. And again, that's the difference with Dustin Urich now versus Dustin Urich in the past. Dustin Urich is willing to use some mind games, he's willing to use some tactics, take some time. Yeah, there we see it. Dustin Urich's on the floor, but Abaddon keeping the Tebow away. A little bit of that psychological mind games. That's a heck of a bodyguard right there, especially when she can talk to the dead. Well, I'm not gonna go anywhere near that woman. Poor thing, I don't know. I don't know what she is. The champion. Absolutely, she is a champion here in Rockman Pro. Two-time Lockheads champion. And let's not forget, we gotta plug them a little bit. You can see Abaddon on Sunday night here in Denver, Colorado, as part of Respect Women's Wrestling, Rocky Mount Pro partnering with Lucha Libre and Laughs to bring, nice slam, Respect Women's Wrestling, some of the best women in the professional wrestling world. They will be here Super Bowl Sunday. Later in the evening, we're gonna start at eight o'clock at Herman's Hideaway in Denver. Make sure you come on down, where Abaddon's going to be in action. Not only that, but the NWA Women's Champion, Thunder Rosa, is gonna be in action that night. So make sure you get your tickets. It's an incredible show every time. If you can't get there and you're out of town, go make sure you watch it on Twitch. Oh, here we go, Dustin Eric goes behind. He's got a team, he's got his hands locked. Tiba trying to fight it out. Oh, but Dustin Eric's got him. German suplex. Abaddon just lurking. Oh, look at this, now goes for the, oh, Oscar's gonna again go for the cover, but instead, just going out and attacking, laying in some shots to the head and the, oh, and the arms. Don't get me wrong, Abaddon loves to win, but that dishing out pain is close to second for, it's close second for her. Absolutely. There we go, Heidi's gonna send Abaddon in. Ducks the clothesline, does Abaddon. We've seen this before. Tilt oh. to the world, head scissors. 
And look at the shock in Heidi Howitzer's face. Yes, devastating. Here comes Abaddon, basement drop kick. Abaddon calling to her corner, but still going for, is she going for a couple? No, she's picking Heidi Howitzer up. Could be looking to make a tag back into Dustin Urich. Bring back in the Rocky Mountain Pro Champion. We just saw Dustin Urich slam Heidi Howitzer not only with ease, but with devastating effect. What's Dustin Urich got in his mind right now? Dustin has got her by the hair. He's threat it looks like he might be threatening to give her a punch right into the face. Oh, God, no. She's up again. No! Heidi I ducks up. Hot tags back in. Oh, beautiful tag. Springboard. Whoa, there goes the dragon. Nice kick to stop Dustin Urich. Stops him again. Oh, and the crane. Oh, but Dustin catches the crane. Duck by Yotima. Here he comes. Oh, we've seen this before. He's going to bring the ruckus. And the Kung Fu flick. Those palm heel strikes hurt. And they leave. Oh, double the stop to the back of Dustin Urich. Holy crap. Who lets out more energy as quickly as Oh, did you see that? A deadlift German suplex by Atiba. Incredible strength. Like a superhero picking up a man almost twice his size. Oh, look at this, though. Now Heidi's got Yurik, and Abaddon's going to go to work with Dragon here. Oh, look at the strength of the Dragon. Just picked up and drops Abaddon. All four competitors giving it everything they have, KD. Really laying it on the line. It's really going to be a matter of who can get to their feet and come up with a strategy to really well, finish this thing out. I have to remind people, the Dragon and the Vulture are the legal men in this contest. Abaddon just rolled to the floor out somewhere. Heidi Howitz, she's still in the ring. Oh, Dustin Urich could be going for a ride here. He's oh, laying in the shots. Still on that Yurik. Oh, wait a minute, Heidi! Here comes Heidi's power bomb! Listen to this place! And look at the dragon, he can't believe what he just saw. KD, I can't believe what I just saw. Oh my god. Oh wait, here we go, Abaddon's going for that, or excuse me, Heidi, the pain train. I hope you got your ticket. Choo choo. Oh, and here comes the dragon. We know what he could be coming for here. Oh, he's going to tag into Heidi Howitzer. Here comes the dragon. Oh, we know what he's doing. The dragon's going to spread those wings. Oh, oh. oh, no. Oh, but crotches. And here comes Heidi. Heidi's legal. Remember that. Heidi's still, ch still chasing Abaddon here. Concerned for her teammate. Right in the dragon eggs goes Atiba. Oh, but Dustin Yurik's got her up. He's going no. for the Dustin Yurik driver. Oh, no. No one gets up from this. She is legal. Covers one, two, three. Oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's your winner, the team of Abaddon and Dustin Yurik. What a contest that was. But there we see the ingenuity of Yurik and Abaddon working together as a team for months.